Hi, blockchain visionaries. I'm George Levy. In this video, we're going to be talking about blockchain and supply chain management. Specifically, we will be addressing how blockchain is being used as a way of making supply chains more secure, transparent, and efficient. This entire video is based on a course called Blockchain and Supply Chain Management. As you have any questions, please leave them below as I would love to hear from you. So let's go over some key items before we dive into the lesson. And I want to ask you some key questions. So for instance, when was the last time that you bought a luxury brand item? Like for instance, a pair of glasses or a watch. How could you know that the item that you bought is genuine and not a counterfeit knockoff? Or for instance, how about the last time that you had salad? How could you tell where the spinach or the lettuce came from? Or for instance, what if you're having wine? How can you tell that the wine that you're actually drinking is really the wine that should be there? And it's not counterfeit wine. There's a huge problem with counterfeit wine as well. And how will you know the provenance of the grapes that are inside here? Is it organic? Or key important one, for instance, the last time you were prescribed the medicine, how can you tell that the pills that you actually take that you bought are the real pills and it's not counterfeit drugs. These are all key problems which today's supply chains are having a challenge with. There's a lot of vulnerabilities in supply chains today and blockchain technology is being used as a way to make supply chains more secure, transparent, and efficient. And that's what we're going to be covering in this lesson. Let's get going. Let us now talk about why I use blockchain in supply chain management. And to begin, I'd like to start with a quote from Ginny Rometty, the CEO of IBM. IBM is one of the most active technology players in the blockchain space with hundreds of clients and multiple implementations of blockchain and multiple applications within the supply chain management space. According to Ginny Rometty, she estimates that the application of blockchain to global supply chains alone could result in more than $100 billion in efficiencies, add improvements in provenance and traceability of pharmaceuticals and food. As we go through this video lesson, I'm going to show you some examples and why this makes sense. And as we continue with the course, I will expand on how this is made possible through the application of blockchain. Let's begin first with a look at supply chain. At a very high level, the supply chain is all the steps that are involved in getting products from raw material to the customer. In essence, it's how do you take raw materials, transform them into products, and then get those products into the hands of customers. That is the supply chain. Now, the goals of supply chain management are multiple. Among them, the goal is to fulfill demand efficiently. There's actually a very common statement in the supply chain management space that is you can't sell from an empty wagon. If you have a store and you have a wagon and you say basically have it empty, there's no products there, you can't really sell from that. So one of the key goals of supply chain management is making sure that all of the retail locations and all the endpoints where customers buy the products actually have product. So fulfilling the demand efficiently is one of the key goals of supply chain management. Another one is to drive customer value. And by that, what's meant is making sure that those customers are happy because happy customers are repeat customers and happy customers will spread the word and keep growing your business. If a customer is unhappy, that will ultimately negatively affect the business. And part of the supply chain um, efforts are to make sure that the products get into the right hands of the right customers at the right time so that the customers are happy and it's a positive experience for them to deliver and receive the product. The next one, that the supply chain needs to really focus on is to improve responsiveness. The world is constantly changing and there are multiple things that impact the products, uh, the product supply chain. So there may be a problem in some place in the world that may affect the supply of a specific raw material as a result that will have a ripple effect that affects somewhere down the chain. So the goal of the supply chain management is to maintain and improve responsiveness to any types of change that may affect the business overall. And the final one that's a key one is to contribute to financial success because ultimately this is part of a business and the supply chain is an integral part of that business. So contributing to financial success is a key part of supply chain management goals. 
as we move forth, I want to talk also about logistics because many people think that logistics and supply chain management are one and the same. Now, they're not. They're two different divisions of the supply chain. That is, logistics are a component and part of the supply chain. By logistics, what we mean is the coordination and movement of resources across destinations. This includes purchasing, storage, and delivery of raw materials. It includes warehousing. It includes shipping. It includes transporting goods to distributors. Ultimately, efficient logistics are essential to business profits and customer satisfaction. If you can't get the product into the hands of the customer when they need it at the right time, you have unhappy customers. And having an unhappy customer will have negative effects on the business as that customer may go to a competitor. Now, some key challenges in supply chain management revolve around the fact that there are multiple separate players. A supply chain can be composed of hundreds of steps, and sometimes these are placed across vendors that may be in different places around the world. These multiple different players have lack of transparency because each one of them contains and controls a certain amount of data pertaining to what they add into the supply chain. There's a lack of transparency in this. As a result, there's a lot of discrepancies in records. There may be a supplier that has some information that you believe is accurate, and then you find out that that information is not correct because it doesn't match the information you have in a different database. So this lack of transparency and multiple different players can result in discrepancies in records. This is a key problem because it can also be subject to tampering and somebody may be actually modifying records. So these discrepancies in records and lack of transparencies are key vulnerabilities in supply chain management. There's also limited cross-process visibility. When you're actually making a strategic decision of the entire supply chain, it's important to have the big picture across the entire supply chain. But because it's composed of so many different players and each one of them has different pieces of data, there's limited cross-process visibility. So making decisions that impact the entire supply chain is a challenge when you have all these separate players with lack of transparency and discrepancies in records. Another key component is globalization. As the world becomes more and more globalized and companies keep adding more and more global players, they may be sourcing raw materials and products from other places in the world with various globalized players. Having players in different parts of the world makes you also subject to what may be going on in those parts of the world and may be a disruption in how actually a product is delivered. There may be different political issues. Globalization is a key challenge in supply chain management. And all of this affects the goal of maintaining high performance because ultimately if you cannot maintain a high performing supply chain ultimately the end result will be that the customer will be unhappy and if a customer is unhappy that will negatively affect the business results and a key component that's very much affecting supply chain management is the issue of counterfeiting I'll be talking about that now the global value of counterfeited goods is estimated at $1.2 trillion. That is a massive amount. Furthermore, a report commissioned by the International Trademark Association and the International Chamber of Commerce says that the global economic value of counterfeiting and piracy could reach $2.3 trillion by the year 2022. That is a massive number which directly impacts the bottom line because if a product is being sold and you have to compete against a counterfeit product that's far cheaper, that automatically lowers your sales volumes because people may buy the knocked off counterfeit version instead of yours. Piracy and counterfeiting are a huge problem with businesses and the supply chain is affected by that. Another key area that's very, very much impacted is the fact that the World Health Organization estimates that 10 to 30 percent of all medicine in developing countries is counterfeit. Think about the health implications of this. In fact, a report by the UN Office on Drugs and Crime states that counterfeit goods and fraudulent medicines pose a serious risk to public health and safety. You see how many different risks are to the supply chain and counterfeiting is a key problem. As we go through this course, we will talk about blockchain. And I want to revolve around a single statement because blockchain provides a single source of truth that is verifiable, tamper-proof, and unchangeable. 
I will be discussing this further in future lessons. For the moment, I want to talk about the fact that the government has seen this and is in fact actively working to see how to engage and include blockchain technology to improve supply chain management and combat counterfeit goods. In fact, a hearing held on May 8, 2018 in the United States called Leveraging Blockchain Technology to Improve Supply Chain Management and Combat Counterfeit Goods revolved exactly around this topic and it brought in public figures and private figures to actually talk about these issues. It was held by the House's Subcommittee on Research and Technology and the Subcommittee on Oversight and the purpose of the hearing was to highlight potential and proven applications of blockchain and distributed ledger technology in shipping, logistics and customs with an emphasis on supply chain management. The hearing focused on how the technology could be leveraged to provide greater supply chain visibility and combat the distribution of counterfeit products. As we go on in this course, we will expound further on all these topics. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I invite you also to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, we are changing the world, one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.